You know, I was supposed to be nice. They say something happened to me when I got shot. I became nice. And when you're dealing with these people, they're very dangerous people. When you're dealing with them, you can't be too nice. You really can't be. So if you don't mind, I'm not going to be nice. Is that okay? They want me to be nice. Um, they, they, they don't want you to be nice. You said you were going to be nice. You said you were the leak. You were the one saying that you're a changed man. Nobody, nobody actually expected you to change. Nobody is a dumb enough donkey to believe that even nearly being shot, which is an accurate description of what happened, would be enough to change you. And so he's the same person he's always been. I would love to be naive enough to believe that a different world was possible, but it is not. And so that is not surprising, I'm sure, to you. Here's the thing that might be a little bit surprising, and I want to discuss this with Yes. I've been waiting to get back on the air to discuss this. Isn't it amazing that about two weeks ago, Donald Trump was nearly shot and nobody cares anymore? Like, nobody cares. Nobody barely cared at the RNC and I was there, they barely talked about it. Now I have a theory or two as to why that is. I think there are some strong explanations, but he was winged. He got a boo boo and nobody cares about it anymore. They rightfully care about the people who actually suffered on that day, who were injured and who died. They care about that, but I am almost like, I don't know. I'm filled with optimism that they are not keeping needless empathy for the guy that has only tried to profit off of that event. And yeah, as I know, we were talking about this for the show. The world has moved on so much faster than we thought it would. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. Okay, so I probably said this before, but when I saw that he had got shot at a rally or whatever happened at the rally, uh, my first thought was it felt like when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. And I was like, oh, the world feels different now. This is not normal. This is a different world that we live in now. And it, it was exhausting because it's like, okay, now we have to go through all this stuff. We know that it is a big deal, right, for a president of former president and a current presidential candidate to survive an assassination attempt. That is a big deal. It's a big headline for anyone anywhere. But it's all the stuff that comes with it, all of the opining. And we knew that the rhetoric from Trump was going to be very irritating at least, right? We didn't know exactly what angle he was going to go with. But we saw even right after the shooting, he had his fist up in the air. He was ready to fight, right? And he was ready to make this a thing for himself. You know, I know there's a lot of conspiracy theories around whether or not it was, it was staged or planned or whatever. But either way, even if it wasn't, right, that's the what we're operating with. Even if it wasn't, he still knows how to make it a moment because he is good at marketing, right? We have to give him credit where it's due. He is good at that. He's good at branding. He's good at riling up his base and rallying support behind him. And all of these articles came out right after the shooting saying, oh, well, there, there we have it. He just won the election. Trump just won the election because everybody's going to come out and sympathize with him now that he's been shot. No, it didn't happen. The only people who really got behind him were already the people who were so 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 MAGA, right? Yeah, he wasn't yeah. he wasn't swinging people over to his side just because he survived this thing. And I'm I'm grateful because it feels like this could have been a much longer story that we would have been dealing with for like weeks or months into the future. I'm glad that it's died down and we don't have yeah. to just do all the stuff. It gets really tiring. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, when I say, you know, like like sort of got shot, I'm not saying it was staged. I don't believe that. I don't right, I, right. I'm not even I'm not even commenting on it like not being a bullet at being shot. It's just and like the, the, the big just saying, was excessive. Yeah, it's he got shot as little as you can get shot and still be shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's still you know potentially bad. Um but I'm also I look my, it, to the extent that we have a brand is I'm not I'm not going to tell lies that I'm supposed to tell to you. If he could press a button and had it miss him entirely, he would not press that. So I'm not going to pretend that he cares about the fact that he got shot. He would have preferred to be winged in the way that he was because it produced the moment. So I'm not going to lie to you about that. Um and when he and especially when he comes out and says things like I took a bullet for democracy, 
Okay, nope, nope. You decided to make it a whole big thing. You've completely lost me. You've completely lost the vast majority of people. You didn't take a bullet. People did take bullets there, and you're now stealing the valor of their injuries to screw you. In any way, in any event, I'm going to give my explanation in a sec. I'll also say 28% of Americans said that the shooting had changed Trump for the better. Definitely every one of those person is a MAGA person and they don't even mean it. Again, you saw them cheering in the crowd when he said he wouldn't be nice. They don't want him to be, they just like the idea that his brand would be nicer because they think that would get other people. They don't want it though. 7% said it changed him for the worse, which I don't know if that's for sure, but we'll see. And I will say, um, I think it really comes down to one, he was barely injured. Um, the bigger thing though by far was the nature of the shooter. That took the wind entirely out of the sails. If it had been an Antifa person or a BLM activist or someone that they could show a photo from Instagram from seven years ago and pretend that they're trans or bi or whatever, then every single RNC speech would have devoted 50% of its runtime to it. And that's all Fox News would be saying. They can't do that now because the guy was apparently a conservative Republican who apparently liked Trump and also wanted to kill him. It's complicated, it's confusing, and it doesn't fit into their narrative. Also, they don't like demonizing guns because they want people to have the exact guns that people choose to use when they try to kill presidents. So they were really between a rock and a conservative hard place on this one. And that, again, it just took you, the sympathy that he would rely on could never be fundamentally about the wound because the wound wasn't serious. It was always going to be about the act. And now the act doesn't lead to a lot of political sympathy because it wasn't the other side unfairly trying to take him out. You can't claim that you're a martyr to an insane person from your own side. And so I think that that just fundamentally changed the effect that this will have on the race. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?